Now, as you can imagine, in my job, I come across lots of toddler mischief on a regular basis. And so I thought I'd run through my list of favorite mischievous things that toddlers get up to. And just to be clear, this does not involve any toddlers who are in any way distressed. They are entirely happy to be getting up to this mischief, believe you me. First of all, favorite on the top of every toddler's list is jumping out of bed and turning the lights on the minute that mum and dad leave the room. This can easily be solved by taping up the light switches or even removing the light globes. Other children, of course, like to strip down naked, taking everything off, including the nappy. That one's always fun. Some kiddies chuck away their blankets and the pillows off the bed and send a very clear message that they are not ready for bed. Other kiddies jump out of bed and start emptying the drawers and the wardrobes and pulling all the shoes out and having lots of fun there. Others literally jump off the bed. I once met a little boy who would jump like a spider monkey onto the carpet looked quite painful but he thought it was hilarious then there's running in and out of the bedroom back and forth asking for drinks going to the toilet you've been there and i even heard of one little boy who would get up in the night to turn on the bath taps so he would think about having a bath in the middle of the night and one night his parents even found him in the pantry paddling in blue food coloring so now when we've got children who are up doing this kind of mischief, I always ask about sleep pressure. For some reason, this child has got the energy to either fight bedtime and think of all these other exciting activities, or they're awake in the middle of the night doing them instead. This is a clear sign that sleep pressure is not great enough to either put them to sleep easily or keep them asleep all night long. We might have to think about shortening the daytime nap or even giving them a later bedtime. And of course, we must remember good sleep hygiene. Are we paving the way to an easy bedtime? Dim lights, good food, warm clothes, all that great stuff. Also, are they getting plenty of connection time with you ahead of bedtime? Or are these little acts of mischief a way of seeking that attention with you in a different way? Now, if you've tried these suggestions and the mischief still continues, then we may simply be looking at a need for supervision for parents to draw close and supervise their falling asleep or even the sleep throughout the night because of course toddlers are impulsive they don't always make great choices day or night and sometimes our continued presence just helps them to make the right choices this is not setting up bad habits being close to your child again it's just supervision once they get the idea and they grow out of that impulsiveness, then you will not be needed to be there nearly as much. We're not setting them up for failure. We're setting them up to succeed and do a really great job with you close at hand to guide them in the right direction.